In this video, you'll see how to provision and deploy Amazon AppStream 2.0 using AWS Service Catalog. With this solution, you can create a template for a secure and compliant AppStream 2.0 deployment, publish the template as a product in AWS Service Catalog, and allow authorized users to launch an AppStream stack on their own. We'll start in our text editor, where we have an AWS CloudFormation template configured to create AppStream resources. This is the code we use to create our template. It's available in the resource links for this video. We replace this file's placeholder parameters with values for our AppStream image name, private subnets, and preferred security group. Our template includes only one image. Here are the values for our private subnets and our security group. With our CloudFormation template complete, we can start creating our product in AWS Service Catalog. Let's open our product list. From here, we can upload the new product. Let's enter a product name and a description. We'll also provide an owner name for the product. Next, we'll upload the CloudFormation template file we prepared. We'll provide a version name and description. We'll also enter support details in case users have issues or questions. Let's create the product. Our product created successfully. Next, we'll create some tags in our Tag Options library that we can apply to our product. Tag options are key value pairs that enable us to track resources and costs when our product is deployed from AWS Service Catalog. In this case, we'll create tag options for Department ID and Cost Center ID. These tags will be applied automatically to the resources user's provision. Next, we'll return to our product and associate the two tag options with it. Now we'll set up an AWS Service Catalog portfolio where users can access AppStream products. Let's quickly fill in the details and create the portfolio. Here's our newly created portfolio. Let's add our product to it. Next, we'll add AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, permissions for the groups, users, and roles who can launch products from this portfolio. In our case, we'll add an IAM role with admin privileges. Setup is now complete. Now, let's see how a user with a delegated IAM role permissions launches the AppStream product from Service Catalog. From the Products page, the user selects the product and clicks the Launch Product button. The user then enters a name and version for the provisioned product. They can choose certain parameters and add custom tags to associate with the deployment before launching it. Notice the required tags. The product provisioned successfully. The user can view all the resources that were created. Now let's navigate to AppStream 2.0 to verify the deployment. Under Stacks, we can see the stack that was created. Let's create a streaming URL for testing purposes. When we enter the URL into a browser, we see the front door of the AppStream 2.0 instance. Let's select one of the available applications. The application is now available for use. Let's end the session. The role with permissions to launch this AppStream 2.0 fleet and stack also has permissions to terminate the provisioned product. 
Terminating the provisioned product deletes the associated resources and ends their associated costs. You've just seen how to provision and deploy Amazon AppStream 2.0 using AWS Service Catalog. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.